so hey peeps welcome back to a brand new video on my channel myself arav and in this video we going to talk about the rise droid 8.0 update for redmi note 10 and we have going to talk much more in detail in this video so if you are new to my channel then please consider a subscribe to my channel because it really takes much more time and work to create a content like this so please 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 like the video and subscribe to my channel so without wasting a further time let's get started so guys as if you can see this in the rise droid device version this is now offic not officially supported rom but it is an official version which is based on android 13 you get a sweet and sober android 13 easter egg i love android 13 easter egg of i because it's a great android 13 easter egg after that rise droid version is 8.2 lumi dot pixel After that, we got a November fifth of security update with the Rise Droid version of thirteen dot o with the Strix inline kernel inlined in it. After that, we are getting the whole changed UI of the Rise Droid. So first of all, I just want to talk about the benchmarks and everything that I have took in this device, and I am literally so much happy with this device performance. First of all, this is hundred thread set score. of cpu slotting test and you can see this here you got max 140 gips with 79% max performance with this kernel in android 13 you can do get this type of performance this is a charging speed test and the charging is rapidly and it do performs charging like a miui with 33 watt charging supplied this is a wildlife extreme test that i have took and in extreme test it got best scores from preceding android 12 roms so it is Best in this times. After that, the red, uh, here you get the wildlife extreme stress test. In this, you are seeing that its best loop score is one forty one, and the stability of device is ninety eight point six percent. Total all over, in comparison to MIUI, it is best. This is the Geekbench score, which is outstanding in this time of roams, with the five nineteen of single core score with the thirteen twenty one of multi core score. After that, I have took the L one certification check. and it did pass elven certification so you are good to go to use your netflix amazon prime with full hd content and guys i am just making a video to convert your android look to iphone look so if you want to see that video so please comment down so i will make a video and please please not be on that like a person who only listens and do not do anything so please guys if you really want that type of video then please 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 drop a comment you are feel free after that we got a phone app and messaging app and contacts app new look and ui and after that i want to just share you the device certification the device is certified there is aren't a issue that you are getting in this room it is clearly mentioned that device is being certified after that i want to just share you some things that i encountered in this room which is very important to you know for the camera application it shows the app isn't installed whenever i click this you got this pop up app isn't info installed after that you are getting the rice droid sushi launcher i know it is being ported from oxygen os launcher but yeah it's sushi launcher you get the android 13 full palette color theme if i just change this it got totally changed according to its after that dark theme is also available with the themed icon in the app grid lot of options is given but i don't use that so i haven't enabled that after that you get the home settings with which i already talked about the sushi launcher you get the icon settings and home screen options you get the lock screen status bar top shadow hot seat background would look like this it will automatically change you can see this here you got the pop up of that for the hot seat background if it is not working means while you have to reboot your device after that these all things were mentioned above here you can see this the hot seat gets changed so it totally depends on whatever settings you apply for your usage uh, apart from that recent option is also given what do you want like i have just enable these things so you get the recent in this this type of options after that miscellaneous option is given also about here's the sushi launcher based on cr droid home and cr droid do i think uses its own launcher so i can't remember that 
and apart from that all guys let me go to settings and tell about what you are getting in the settings options after that network internet do works fine i have checked and i'm using this device from two to three days for my personal usage and i haven't faced any network drops and call drops in this room after that let me talk about the personalization you get the lock screen option you get a bunch of customizations everything does fine so i'm not going to get into the details because it creates so much time in the videos so no one watches this video but the game space i haven't took because in the game space i'm seeing more many of the time that game space is not working fine so a lot higher fps is given and system boost option is also given pixel storage spoofing is also given and it is working i will help you to see that the pixel spoofing is does working let me go to photos and here you can see this this pixel can backup unlimited photos and videos you can see this so yeah you can back up unlimited photos and videos above here after that let me go back into the miscellaneous mis option you get the smart pixels option from the cr droid like and don't use this i don't like this and it won't create a huge difference for anyone notification iphone is given blur media are talk and network option given is and here is i got a new option less less boring i don't know what this do but it writes display pop up notification only for alarms so i think that would it do and this is the blinking flashlight for incoming calls nothing to see much more in that after that is the option of sound and vibration for adaptive playback and yeah it do works fine for the pulse you get nav bar for listening music so it would be very great option user interface that's all the settings that you are getting on all the roms nothing has been new to it so yeah it is not got any much change for the apps i already mentioned you, you get the default app as sushi launcher and guys please if you are watching video till now then please subscribe and like the video i am telling again because i have not more than 400 subscribe 4 or 30 much like subscriber at least complete to 500 please after that the battery the battery is the main turning point of this rom the battery is so 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 impressive that you i can't tell you here is my battery usage and you can see this i am satisfied my battery usage here you get the new ui of the battery usage with the 24 hour and here the option of the clock sensor you can use those settings also sleep mode is given kernel profiles is also been given auto kernel profiles is also been given after that uh, the ram management the ram management of this room is too awesome because at night i have opened a app and tomorrow morning it's still open so it's good security fingerprint and face unlock does come so no hassles and that is working fine after that these all settings i already told about you buttons you can enable taskbar from here and the taskbar gets open if you click here you get your apps here but i don't like these taskbars so from the gestures you got these settings which i already talked about you updater you got updater but this doesn't work because it's an official belt and first of all if you do flash from here it will not get flash it will make your device break so what's the reason to flash this i don't know why after that the thermal profiles is going given and i took all the benchmarks in the thermal profiles and the benchmark stood fine and great so guys this is all about my review everything is flawless cool and very minimal to use everything does fine and you can see this the double tap to lock screen is also working so you can see this the opening and closing everything switching between the apps is also awesome so you aren't getting a lag or whatsoever so guys if you really 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 like this content then you know what you have to do so guys till then Bye bye and meet in the next video